For centuries, sailors have tapped the free energy of the winds to drive them across the oceans. And now the ever energy conscious Norwegians are working on an even more elegant way of getting something for nothing at sea. A wave-powered ship. And the rather incongruous setting for this new idea is a barn in the middle of the Norwegian countryside. The inventor, Einar Jakobsen. Now, the idea of a wave power boat seems rather too good to be true. Yes, it surely is true. You see uh, for yourself, it's running by wave power alone. Now, you see, that doesn't really surprise me because you would expect a boat to be blown along in front of the waves. I mean, a rowing yes. boat would drift like yes. that. Yes, oh, yes. It? But this one moves against the waves also. There you see. Now, that is incredible. It really got some speed up there, didn't sure. it? Sure, yes. You saw how it looked. And this is what's responsible? Yes, this the foil propeller is driving the boat. So how is that foil moving the boat forward? So I'll show you here. This is a foil and uh, you have a, a wing uh, which is kept in neutral position by the spring force. It's sort of horizontal there, yes? Yes. And uh, when it is moved up in the water, you, you get the trailing edge mm -hmm. moved down. And if you move it down, you get the trailing edge up. And this gives the propulsion. I can show you there in the water. Right. It's the same principle as the dolphin, the tail of the dolphin. Now that just looks to me like you're dragging it up and down the tank. No, it, it is the foil who is dragging me. Really? Yeah, you can try yourself. Right, doubting Thomas here. Right, now just bob it up and down, yes, right? Ooh! <laughs> that is incredible. It just shoots away, doesn't it? Yes. But will it work on a full-sized boat? Foils were fitted at each end of an eight-metre test boat and taken out to the choppy waters of the Oslo Fjord. Even against a steady headwind, it got up to six knots purely by wave power. Now, that's a good speed, but the idea is that you supplement conventional engine power with wave power. That way, Ina Jakobsen reckons that it should be possible to cross the Atlantic using only 20% of the usual amount of fuel. And as a bonus, there's good news for seasickness sufferers. Because the foils absorb the energy of up and down motion, you end up with a much smoother ride. The next step is to test larger ships. But in the meantime, Eine Jakobsen is proposing another use for his foils. These models show how rotary power stations could work under wave power. No matter what direction the waves come from, the device will continue to turn and generate electricity. And the latest experiment is an engine-driven foil, powerful enough to replace an ordinary propeller. This is an engine-driven foil propeller. Mm -hmm. It's air-driven. Compressed air drives it up and down in these cylinders. Tests have shown that an engine-driven foil can be 30% more efficient than a screw propeller and they could even replace oars. And I tell you what, it's a lot easier than rowing.